Now, the Department of Trade and Industry, or DTI, is hosting the Black Industrialist in Darba at uh, the Gallagher Convention Center in Midrand. It started yesterday and uh, it ends today. The event will endeavor to promote government's core intentions in industrialization, skills development, job creation, localization, and supplier development in order to create and develop black industrialists and entrepreneurs. Well, today in studio with us, we're very happy to be joined by the Deputy Minister in the Department, Ms. Wandile Masina. So good to have you. Welcome to Morning Live. Thank you. Thank you very much. Looks like you had a very fruitful and exciting day yesterday with the president getting up and, and speaking very, very passionately. Just talk to us about his address. Yes, uh, yesterday was uh, quite an amazing day. Uh, South Africans, uh, I'm sure they could see the intention of the ANC-led government and the president. He was very clear that uh, uh, actually he, he likened this day yesterday, uh, like the day, uh, the 26th of June, 1955 when uh, Freedom Charter was being launched. He said entrepreneurs who are here today rep representing uh, millions of other entrepreneurs out there uh, should look back on this day and say this is where we started. So it's a very historic day for all of us and a uh, lot of things were being said that day and there's good intention from government yeah. uh, to move uh, uh, towards a radical social economic transformation. What were some of the, the, some of the ideas that the president put forward? What would he like to see happening? Because as you say, this is his baby. This is what he, where he really wants to see movement. Yes. Look, uh, we, we are proposing some of the reforms in the financial, how the DFIs have always been lending money to, uh, to small business, uh, to businesses in, in, in the main. And uh, we're looking at how uh, we can p uh, pull together resources of government so that we have a sizable amount of money that we'll use to, to ensure that we can support financially the industrialists, but also looking into how we can uh, create, you know, we are championing uh, as, as, as a country, the program to, of regional integration. We were b bringing together about three regional blocks, uh, the SADC, uh, COMESA, and the East African communities, uh, so that we can have a, our own trading block here. But also, our, represent, uh, our role in BRICS has become so necessary that we must be able to identify new markets for export for our own companies. Yeah. So these are some of the interventions that are already underway. And, and we, are, we are calling this in Daba to ensure that there is policy that is coherent, that has been agreed to by all stakeholders, so that we can then be able to implement these programs. I mean, there is so much potential in the sector, there really is, and I know that you're saying that there are already processes that are underway, but in terms of potential, and in, in terms of potential job creation, what are we looking at if we develop this industry properly? Well, uh, we're looking at a number of uh, 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 jobs that could be created. Uh, at this point, we have been very careful because, you see, the jobs issues have been very critical. Yeah. Uh, so we, we, we are committed to the ruling party's numbers uh, in terms of job creation over time. And I think that manufacturing will make a contribution towards that. And uh, once uh, the, the, the policy has been concluded, we will set up a, pro a program of action, including how much we are going to, to use uh, to support this particular industry. And, and we should be able to come out with the job numbers. Yeah. Um, are trade agreements conducive to bettering the economy for all stakeholders? Well, uh, that's why uh, we are now of, uh, focusing on ensuring that uh, this intra-Africa trade has become central. Our role in BRICS should be properly understood so that we are able to make a meaningful impact. But we'll continue uh, with the, uh, our negotiation with the U.S. through AGOA, uh, with the EU uh, member countries, uh, because we believe that a lot of opportunities should come as a result of that. That's why we want to produce... Uh, a value addition in, in the goods that we have because it can't be that we continue uh, uh, mining, uh, take raw materials without beneficiating. So South Africa has now agreed that we must beneficiate, add value so that we can uh, uh, ensure that uh, we benefit through the multi multiplier effect. Yeah. If you have to sort of highlight your greatest challenges in DTI, what is it? What, what is hampering the growth in, in the industrial sector? Well, uh, I, I think uh, in the main way, we, we really need many takers to participate. And uh, we, we, we are limited in terms of resources because there are conflicting government uh, priorities, you know, uh, from housing to health. So we don't have sufficient money to fund the industrial policy, but we are determined working with the private sector that with the little that we have been given in the fiscal, we must be able to, to make the best out of it. Yeah. Again, um, the issue of white domination in the sector was brought up and uh, this is an issue that that obviously needs to be addressed how is it going to be addressed what what can be done is that really at the root of the problem well uh, the president uh, made uh, this point very succinctly when he said look 
uh, we are not, uh, this is not apartheid reversal, but basically we are correcting the past imbalances. So we must make sure that uh, the, 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 the economy represents the demography of the country. Mm -hmm. So we have to make sure that uh, many people get involved in the productive sectors of the economy. It can be that black people continuously are just uh, consumers of goods. They must produce them, sell them in South Africa, uh, in the continent and abroad, yeah. because we are creating those environments for them. So we want to have as many, as, many as possible entre uh, 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 entrepreneurs who are able to produce those goods. That's why we are calling for all South Africans to say, manufacturing is the way, let's open these factories, because factories are physical, they create jobs, uh, they in ensure inclusive growth, and that, that, that's the policy of the ANC. Yeah, I mean, when you look at every sector, I mean, whether you look at, you look at a, something as simple as a clothing sector, um, there is so much potential there. If we had to open up different factories, different uh, places here in South Africa where you could create jobs, create <coughs> the clothing, sell it locally, um, you, you're, you're empowering and wealthing, so, uh, wealthing so, so many people, enriching so many people, uh, as opposed to importing all the time. Mm. And that's something that South Africa is so good at doing. We keep bringing in these imports. Mm. And that's when you look at our relationships with a couple of countries like particularly China mm. and I know that you look around and you see so many products being filtered in from the Chinese market mm. but surely it's time for us to sort of say mm -mm, no more we are going to make it local well uh, we have opened up our economy and uh, we, th those goods will always come as long as uh, they come correctly that's why we must be very careful about how we negotiate for these trades. Yeah. What actually we are doing now as part of the broader industrial policy is to ensure that we revitalize those areas. If you go to areas like the Eastern Cape, uh, there is an area they call Timbaza. It was a, an area that was anchored around the factories. Those factories have since died. So we have now strategies on how we are going to work together with the private sector to ensure that the investment is not just only coming to major cities, but also it goes to the outskirt areas like those, including areas like Newcastle in, in Guazulu Natal, in Pumalang and so on, so that there is not over concentration in big cities. So we need to ensure that because we need to create jobs also in those specific areas. With regard to uh, our trade relation, we must always be careful about the tariff lines of, of all the things that we negotiate because mm -hmm. some we, we are not going to stop uh, Chinese goods coming from here, but we have to make sure that we build and anchor and support our industries as those countries are doing. That's why uh, one of the major contentious issues in the AGOA about, uh, uh, about, uh, about our stance, we are saying that we will always continue to support our agriculture and because we, we believe other countries are doing so. All right. Let's leave it there for this morning. Good luck for today. I know it's the final day today. And certainly, I mean, this is an industry that needs to be tapped into. It can be bigger. And this is uh, perhaps one of the answers to the massive unemployment rate and also uh, to uh, enriching a lot of South Africans that desperately need it so much. Uh, this is the Deputy Minister in the Department of Trade and Industry, um, Mzwandile Masina. Thank you very much for joining thank us. You, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. You.